Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is flood fill. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, an image is represented by 2D array of integers. Each integer representing the pixel value of the image. Given a coordinate SRSC representing the starting pixel row and column of the flood fill and pixel value new color flood fill the image. To perform a flood fill, consider the starting pixel plus any pixels connected to four directional to the starting pixel of the same color as the starting pixel plus any pixel connected four directionally to those pixels and so on. Replace the color of the all the aforementioned pixels with new color. And at the end, return the modified image. So let's move on to the pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken the example given in the question. And this question is similar to a question we have done before. And I highly recommend to go and watch that video. I will provide the link in the description below. After watching that video, Try to solve this question yourself and if you can't make it, then come back and watch this video. Let's see what is given and how we can solve. The question is asking that we need to perform flood fill. We are going with the starting pixel or we can say coordinate from where we have to start. And we need to check what is the color of that coordinate. And then after going there, I will gonna check in all four directions and I will see if in all four direction I am getting the color of the starting coordinate then I will gonna change that with the new color including the starting coordinate. Let's see. So we are again with SRSC11. Before that let me write down the index. So this is 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 one 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 two two zero two one two two the starting coordinate is one one that means this one so we found our color is equal to one and now what I will gonna do I will gonna change it with new color which is two and I will gonna check in all four directions. I will keep writing the steps. Search the starting point. Look in four directions. And if I find the starting color or you can say color in any of any of those four directions I will gonna change it with the new color so I will gonna change this this one and I see this is not equal to color and this is also not equal to color so I will gonna leave them as it is now again from here I will gonna check in all four directions here I can only check in three directions why because I can't go out of my matrix. I can't raise these points. Again, I will check if I am finding my color, then I will gonna change it with the new color. So again, here is one, I will gonna change it with two. Again, this one also, I will gonna change it with two. So again, I will check here in all four direction. And here, I can only check in two directions. Here and here. It is already two and here I have zero. So, I am done here. So, I will check here. Again here, I will check in four direction. But I have limitation in these two sides. So, I will check down and right. So, right is already two and down is also two. So, I will check here. Again, I will check for all four directions. But again, I only have three options and two are already two now I will change this one again here I will check in all four directions but again I have I have limitation here so I will check in two directions 
so one is already two and in one direction i have zero so i am done here after performing my new image will look like this and this is our solution so let's see how we can solve this so we have written few steps here first of all we'll gonna search for the starting point and i will gonna add my color and color is what is the color of starting point or you can say starting coordinate so my color will be equal to image sr sc and we are going with these two values and i will make a dfs function in my this function at any time if value of any given coordinate is equal to color or we can say equal to 1 then i will going to change its value with the new color or you can say i will going to make it equal to 2 so if image at rc is equal to 1 i'll going to change that value with 2 and as we have seen in the example we will going to check this in all four directions to check above i will going to do dfs r minus 1 c because i am checking in the previous row to check down i will going to write r plus 1 c because i am in the same column but i am checking in the next row and when i am checking in the left side i will going to write dfs i am in the same row and the previous column and when i'm checking in the right side or you can say right coordinate i will going to write r c plus 1 because i'm in the same row but i'm checking in the next column and as i told you we can't go outside the matrix so we need to put those condition in our code and if i'm checking for the above coordinate that means i am checking in the previous row and my previous row should not be outside the matrix so for that i will going to write if row is greater than equal to 1 then only i will going to perform this and for when i am checking for the down coordinate i will going to check for the next row so i will going to check that r plus 1 should be less than row then only i'm going to perform this and when i'm checking for the left coordinate then my condition will be if my c is greater than equal to 1 then only i'm going to perform this and when i'm checking in the right coordinate or in the right direction then i will going to check for the next column so my c plus 1 should be less than column and row is the number of row or you can say length of image and my column is equal to length of image at index 0 because as i told you we need to remain within the matrix my upper row while checking i can't go outside this and when i'm checking in the left direction i can't go outside this when i'm checking down i can't go outside this when i'm checking right i cannot go outside this so that's why for right for left for down and for up so these are the four conditions so this is the way we can solve this question so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code so let's check for the code so at line number 3 i'm taking my row and column my row is equal to length of image and column is equal to length of image at index 0 and i'm defining color which is the value at given coordinates and if color is equal to new color i'm simply gonna return the image 
because then we don't have to change it. And I made a helper function to perform the task and to check in the all four directions that if image at any given index is equal to color, then I will gonna change it with the new color. And here I'm checking in the all four direction. Here I'm checking above, here I'm checking down, here I'm checking in the left side and here I'm checking in the right side. And here I'm writing all the conditions because I cannot go outside the matrix. And after that, I'm using my DFS function on SRSC and this is the given code in it. I'm simply returning the image. So this is the code for this problem. Let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it got active. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.